I'm unboxing some of you, you know. Credit card, four tech credit card. Man. Location and all that jazz. Mate, Laura, I'm fucking videoing here. Yes guys, what is happening? Welcome back to a brand new video. Um, seeing though you guys like the voxel content so much, um, obviously Astro Homeboy and that. Um, we got this one for you today. We have got my brother's Corsa VXR and we are fitting a Fortec um, short shifter. Um, I did one of these on the Astra. It's a bit of a nose to do. So I'm hoping this is gonna be a lot easier. The instructions look pretty sweet. So uh, what I'll do, we'll get, get the car ready, get the tools ready, and we'll give it a go. Instructions are pretty good though, like straight off the bat, like there's just like picture diagrams, man. That's what every part, that's what every part should come with, like how to do it. There's that one. It's like, look, look at that for detailed graphics. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get the car and let's get do it, let's go. Right then, so here we go. Uh, basically you gotta move with the battery, uh, this little fuse holder thing, get the battery out of the way. Uh, there's a battery tray, get that out of the way. Um, what I'll do, show you bit by bit how we get away, and then it's literally sitting down there. So, yeah, let's get the tools out, let's go. Excuse me, sir, would you like tea or coffee? Feel like an aero stick. Okay, sir, can you see that? Yeah, yeah. So we're going to remove the negative first. I can't remember if you're supposed to use which one you remove first, to be fair, but there we go. Just make sure that it doesn't touch anything because it could like fuse out. <sighs> there we go. Is that one more in it? Yeah. That one. It's got another one attached to that. Yeah. So if we we need to undo that one as well because it's got like that fuse thing. So if we undo that, pull that out of the way. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we'll do that. Fourteen mil. Crack that off. Remember last time? There's a clip there, clip there, clip there, so that can go over there, like so. Get that out of the way, then this one can go. And then there is another bolt just down there, if you can see that. Yeah, there we go. So we'll do that one, and then we should be good to go. that should come out then which should release this no there we go put that somewhere safe like in your sexy toolbox we'll get this dog shit one out of the way Three 14mm bolts. There we 
good. One out. Two out. Right then, these bad boys, yeah, I bought like a pack of 10. Um, these are trim tool removals. So it should hopefully make my life a lot easier. Or not, absolutely not. You there? Oh, actually that was all right, to be fair. Right, so I'm theoretically, I think there's just one more here. Speeding up. Right then, so this is the daddy, this is the big daddy we're going to swap off. Before we take this off, we're going to show you the actual shifter itself. Right then, so you can see, look at that, the throw is especially... And it's got a gear linkage on too. Yeah, that gear linkage won't really stop the length of the throw, it just make it feel a bit stiffer, I think. So like, we'll go from the side, look. Start throwing a sausage down an alleyway. So yeah, that is hopefully going to be sorted massively by this new short shifter. So let's go. Right, so we've got the trusty drill bit. We have to do a little hole into this. I'm probably going to. Let me get to it. You ain't going to be able to. Uh, yep, yeah, just going to tap on the shifter. Need a metal drill bit, really. It's no good. Then hopefully get a flat head. Oi, 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 that's a. I want it to come out, so. Hard to see. Is it? Don't worry, man. Don't worry. There's my screwdriver. I got one of them new ones. But just, yeah, don't do that. <laughs> At the moment, to try and get it free it up, but well, it does look like it's coming. It's very slowly. Just well, it's hard, easy, boozy. So there it is. Yeah. Straight off. Cheeky 13 mil. Boom. I think that should be out now. So, magnet. See, I had to use, because I didn't have a magnet, I had to use a flathead and that's trying to pop her out. So, theoretically. There we go. Right then, so there is a little. Oh my god, have they just waited for me to start videoing? So there's a little like sir clip that like, like locates this mechanism in. So what I'll do, hopefully now, pull that, which, which theoretically means that I should be able to remove this. So. Should come up, but it's not going to at the moment. <sighs> right. So you're not going to get it on. Right. So let's remove the circle on this thing here. Right then, so uh, on this one, yeah, you can't give up. Um, it's either you get stuck on this point or you get past it. Literally, I'm not lying. It, I've watched another video. It said, "Ah." Oh, if you're pretty skinny, boom, um, which he's not skinny at all, but I'm a little bit skinnier. Um, what I had to do, get a breaker bar underneath it, 
and literally smack up and down like honestly if you think feel like giving up go again and then i've literally been on this for about been trying to get this off for about 10 20 minutes and i didn't even try that did i even try that hard then not yeah. really and it's just literally gone bunk straight off so if you feel like giving up keep going because you will get it in the end so yeah uh here's this one we're trying to do a little comparison and see if there's actually any difference between looking at them and uh we'll go from there so yeah let's go hopefully you can see this but there is a little marking there's a little notch where there's like two teeth missing um that is like you need to line that up with the shaft on there and then hopefully it will go down so let's uh try and get this on oh my line up kind of with the hold of it yeah and so i think i think yeah i'm sure that's on now i'm sure that's on so get this bad boy slot it and then hopefully it starts to do up so hopefully by us ratcheting this down now should bring the shifter a bit lower fingers crossed eh? yeah seems pretty sound right then so what we're going to do next is the linkage at the back we are going to push through hopefully you can see the little hole in the back so you push that through that's going to go Hopefully all the way through that bit. Yep, and then I don't know if you can see you see the little lip there that side Look at the other side of my finger is Hopefully you can see yeah, yeah you can see that yep. popping out so that lines into there that holds on up with that So what we've got to do now Is we've got to put that clip back on that side You know that that uh, flathead kind of circle it that one and then that one trying to do this uh, clip back in foxy on on the gear linkage mm. yep right Oi. I want his initial reaction so there's no there's no line or anything here guys ready give it a go how's it feel Uh, what? You really giving me that? Uh, right then, so little update. Um, it doesn't feel any different. Um, I don't know if my head is playing tricks on me, but it feels no different. Um, even when my brother was like, yeah, it doesn't feel any different. Um, I don't know if I'm going to try and go for a drive and see if it feels. I don't know if you start the engine or what. I don't know. But it don't, it don't feel any different. Um, he's now he's got the linkage upgrade um but that shouldn't make a difference so yeah i think we need to go for a drive and just see what it's all about so let's go give us a little wiggle the front does the front feels a lot shorter but it's just the uh three four and six they just seem the same i don't know what do you reckon at home viewers what would you say? What would you rate it? Uh, would you say save your money or buy one? I don't know, it's probably like a six so far. Um, yeah, 100, and 100 odd quid. I don't know, it depends if you've got the money. Right well, guys, we're just going to do a little ending to the video because um, I felt like it was a bit cut short. Um, basically we fitted the shifter um, and it was I was a bit marmot with it to be honest with you um, I remember on the Astra it felt pretty snappy um, but I c 
can't really say. Obviously, I've got the 0 0.1 shifter, so my shifter's like ch -ch -ch, so notchy and so like mad. If you haven't saw my shifter, check. Uh, I'm going to link a video like there or there um, on my 0 0.1 shifter for the Megan. Um, we haven't just we haven't created one yet for the Vauxhall. Um, I'm speaking to them and see if we can get one made. So watch out, watch your space, and one might come soon. Um, but I just think I don't know if because I've got the 0 0.1 and then driving a normal stick it feels like completely different um so it felt better like first third and like fifth but it just wasn't like i don't know i don't know um i think the fact that it was like 120 quid and i don't think there was that that much of a difference if you've got like 120 odd quid spare and you think oh i want to try it then probably yeah go with by all means but um it's def definitely a decent mod I, I think um if you fitted this yourself please comment down below let people know what your opinions and your thoughts are if you disagree agree let me know because if someone else is looking to buy it they can read your comments and go from there um so yeah, I just want to say thank you all for watching. Thank you for subscribing. You lot are absolutely amazing. Um, we're nearly at 10k. We're not at 10k, but we nearly are. It's only a couple of k away, um, which will be there very, very soon. Um, I'm going to put a great deal of effort in on the videos. Um, I'm going to try, man. I'm going to get stuck in and whew, smash it. So yeah, um, it's like one o'clock at night. I'm going to stay up as long as I can, create videos and just try and progress on this youtube live so thank you all for watching like share subscribe please drop a like for this video um if you can get 500 likes that'd be absolutely amazing and uh yeah i'll see you on the next one peace